Hi everyone, my name is Steph. This is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Walking the Rock Country in Kakadu by Diane Lucas, Ben Tyler and illustrated by Emma Long. This is their second collaboration together, exploring the beautiful country that Australia has from both Indigenous and non-Indigenous perspectives. This book was sent to me for review by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them. And it takes place in Kakadu, which is in Darwin, which is in the Northern Territory of Australia. It is beautiful country. I have never had the chance to go there, but it is on my bucket list because I know that it is incredible country. And this book is really unique in terms of its storytelling style because it is very much a conversation. So in the book, Ben and Diane are having a conversation as they walk through this beautiful country and they're spotting different Australian native animals and different plant life and different formations of the natural landscape and talking about the importance of it to the First Nations people and how they care for it and how they and how they look after it and how that knowledge has been passed down from generation to generation. It does also talk about introduced species at times and how that has impact on the environment and it was just a really beautiful read and it's coupled with you know Emma Long's gorgeously detailed illustrations the whole way through. It also incorporates one of the First Nations language groups from the area that I was reading Ben Tyler is hoping to increase the knowledge of because a lot of our First Nations languages are being lost because people just don't speak them anymore. So those words are included within the text with a really detailed glossary at the back of the book as well and also picture illustrations to help you translate the names of plants and animals and places that are mentioned in the book. The other thing that I really loved about this is that there is a bit of, there is a QR code in here that takes you to a web page where you can listen to Ben and Diane reading the story and that's how I actually read it. So I immersive read it with the text and listening to them read the story. And that really gives you that beautiful conversational tone of the book as well. It was also really lovely to be able to hear that First Nations language spoken out aloud because I can guarantee that I would have been reading it incorrectly in my head. So it was really nice to have that there to help me as I was reading. As always, books like these are a really great jumping off point to talk about any kind of topic, either talking about how our First Nations people care for the land or talking about Kakadu in general or the Northern Territory or specific animals that are mentioned. And can be really great for inspiring kids and adults alike to go and investigate some of these animals, particularly if you didn't know that that was where they were from. So I'm really grateful to have had the opportunity to review the book. I think it is really, really wonderful. Both their collaborations have been done in the same style, which I think is really unique and really fun and just a really great way to find out a lot more information about a place that I know of, but I have never been and I don't have that same level of personal knowledge that the first pick the First Nations people do. Again, thank you to the publisher. A really wonderful book. I will leave details for where you can find out more information about the book down below so you can check it out, but it is definitely worth a read. I'd love to know if you're planning on picking up this book or if you have recommendations for books told in a similar style. Otherwise, feel free to leave any kind of wildlife or plant emoji down below to let me know that you're here. I hope that wherever you're on the world, you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.